This is the RV tour video. Oh man, oh. We did a lot of work on the interior, starting with the paint of the cabinets. We painted them dark green because it's fun. One of those situations, like this is like anything that we want it to be, so why not make it fun? Uh, we needed to contrast it with some dark colors, which we chose black for the countertops, which, you know, this is some Amazon countertop stickers. They're not anything special, but they add that little like cohesion in this entire thing, including, you know, our sinks. We changed out all of the sinks to nice black sinks. I mean, the RV sinks are never really that good. We put wood floor in this entire thing to really give it that home feel, which was huge. Blinds were both changed. We got these really nice blinds. Love them. I think they blend really good. There's some things that we haven't done yet. Like we haven't got seat covers just yet for this RV, but those are in the works. This is our bedroom. This is where we will sleep. You know, this also folds out into a bed. This folds out into a bed. So we have like two big beds here with a couch and the dinette, which you can sleep, you know, up to like six people comfortably, which is nice. We have the TV, which was mounted down here. We had to remount it up here because, boom, watch TV in bed. Let me show you this little fun thing we got going on here. This is the cork board. We made this whole wall cork board. Obviously we got some Polaroids up there right now. Um, this is my younger brother, Josefina. Me and Josefina, when we first bought this thing. We have a huge fridge, which is amazing. This thing is gigantic. I mean, this is, this is luxury living, honestly. Like, I'm super, super stoked. You know, full kitchen here, microwave, oven, all of that standard RV stuff that makes it feel like a home. Ah, oh, this was another big one for me. The map, I wanted the map so bad. It was so hard to get, so hard to figure out. We had to custom order the map, size it all up, figure out what parts of the world we wanted on the map. And obviously we went with North America and South America. For those of you guys that don't know, Josefina, she's from Chile. We go down to Chile, this YouTube channel, I've done lots of videos in Chile. And, uh, you know, we wanted to have this map so we can see where we traveled. And currently, our route for the winter, we're starting in California, we're going up to Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, Utah, back to California. It's going to be an absolute mission, an absolute journey for the winter. And then after the winter's over, we have a whole nother section of the world to explore in this RV and really the horizons are endless. So I'm super excited. This just is inspiring for me. And I think it fits in with the RV. It really makes the colors pop. Back here, we got the bathroom, which is actually pretty sizable compared to most RVs. The shower. Yeah. I mean, I fit in here. I'm six foot, pretty big guy. Fit in here comfortably. We went with the checkered floor to just add to the flair of this thing, to just like make it fun and painted it, the cabinets orange because again, why not? Changed out the sink, you know, put the black countertops, made it all just exciting and feel good. And the bathroom's a big deal for us because if we're living in this thing full time, a bathroom is like essential to have. A couple of little like Little details that we did is like we added the checkers down underneath the dinette, which is really fun. That kind of ties it all together. Added some checkers here. And I also had a big thing with like, I wanted a like wood cabin feel too. Like we kind of had all these visions in our head. And so we just got some sticker, some sticker wood, some stick on wood, you know, wallpaper kind of vibes, like super cheap, super easy. And just kind of like made this entrance be kind of like our entrance to our cabin, if you will. We got a nice big closet here, huge closet. Got drawers, you know, tons and tons and tons of storage. We got some deer antlers up here. I actually helped carry this buck out of Wyoming last year. Didn't shoot it, but I helped pack it out, which was really fun. And then kind of to top off this whole tour and what we've done, 
is we added solar to this thing, which is just our solar, you know, panel here. And we have it all wired up through our dinette into this, this guy. This is where our solar converter lives. And so we have two batteries in there, two batteries underneath the front steps, and we have two big solar panels right above me. Super off-grid capable RV, and that's just the start. We just got Starlink, we gotta hook it up. And you know, there's a bunch of other little kind of tweaks that we have to do, and that's just gonna be the name of the game. Like I said, I, I realized that this is gonna be a forever project, and there's always gonna be something to do. Uh, on this RV, which it seems like it's endless and that's okay. I enjoy doing it. You know, we did like little things too. You know, we changed up the trim. We added some like really nice LED lights in a couple of these places, you know, little kind of tweaks here and there. And honestly, those were the things that take up the most time. It's just like, oh man, we gotta add this little bit here. We gotta cock this little like edge there. We gotta add this little light there and, you know, really just kind of dial it in. But for the most part, this is it. This is our RV. Everything you guys kind of seen in this video has pretty much been done by us. I mean, even the fans in this thing, the AC has been taken off. Like every single part of this RV we have touched in some way to make it somewhat better. And I, honestly, coming from a person that hasn't really done anything like this, it's really given me a confidence to know where everything is at in this RV and to know how everything functions in this RV. So when we are on these adventures in these remote areas. If anything goes wrong, I can make it happen and hopefully fix it. Probably one of the coolest things about this RV is the bike rack designed and built by my younger brother. We went with a two story system so we can keep our Yakima box and have all of our ski equipment in here. When we're done with the winter, this Yakima box will stay on here and really gives the RV optimal storage. Right, guys this is probably my favorite part the rooftop deck it's on all aluminum frame it took us 24 hours to design build and weld this with composite decking on top we lag bolted it into the roof it was very nerve-wracking because we redid the entire roof so all of that hard work that we did to redo the entire roof we had to drill big holes in to make sure this deck does not blow off this is also where our surfboards are gonna go because like I said when we're done with winter We've got another big adventure in store for this thing. But this view was my dream. It was my vision. You cannot get any better view than sitting on a rooftop deck. It's something special. It's something visceral inside of you. There's something fun about being elevated. And then we never wanted a rail so we can dangle our feet off and just enjoy it. Like you're sitting on a cliff. This is one of the most amazing things about this RV. One of the hardest things to envision and one of the hardest things to achieve but I'm so glad we put the work in and made it happen. Another thing that we did, which is just like a little thing that most RVs have, but this one didn't, is this awning. We had to get this awning. It's a 14 foot awning. It's huge. It comes all the way out. We had to install all of those brackets in there, install the brackets up top. That was a huge task. 